Over the last 12 months, we've been very lucky to work with Safe House Management and a lot of their artists that they bring out to Ibiza. And today, down here at Sands Bar, down in Played and Bossa, I'm getting to catch up with Yumek. Hello, hello. How are you, my man? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good, good. good thanks. Good. So, how have you recovered after last night playing for Carl Cox at Space? Yeah, I was all fine. Slept six hours, so I'm ready to play today. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. And how was the gig? Yeah, the gig was great. Actually, I opened the, the night, but it was amazing. Uh, it's incredible how fast this club fills up on Carl's night. Yep. They just open the door and in the next 15 minutes in a, there was 1,000 people inside. I was like, oh my God, what is going on? And it was like 12, 15, you know, the, the place was full. And I was like, oh, what the hell, you know? And it's, yeah, it's amazing. It's really good. I actually heard you on the radio yesterday before your set and you were talking about how the doors open and people just run inside. And it is exactly like that. Yeah. As midnight strikes, those doors open, floods in. It's crazy. I mean, I'm, the same thing was last year and two years ago, but I think yesterday was even full, even faster. Like, yeah. bump, instant. Like, well, where did all these people coming from, you know? <laughs> now listen, tell us about what's happening down at Sand. So we obviously got a little school kit down here. You're going to teach us a lesson in music today. We could do some math in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but obviously you've got yourself, um, your whole team down here today. Uh, I've seen that you've got Jeep Wranglers all around with uh, your UMEC branding on. So so what's the go? We're just um, celebrating UMEC and Avita. Uh, no, actually uh, we are here to uh, shoot a promo video of uh, my few days in, in Ibiza because it's... Uh, yeah, it's a nice opportunity with all these things happening right here. And yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Good stuff. And we're going to be having an exclusive set with you here down at Sands from 7 till 9. So looking forward to that. What can we expect to hear from you? Um, obviously, I'm going to play a little bit softer because the guys over here are playing really uh, chill music, you know. So obviously, I'm not going to be as pumpy as, as I used to play, but uh, no problem, it's uh, another challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you seems to be that me that you're a man that likes to take on a challenge. Um, at the moment, you're doing a massive tour, nine dates, or nine gigs in nine days in different countries. Tell us how you're going to manage this, man. Um, yeah, it's, it's nine days, nine gigs. Uh, on Saturday, actually, I have two gigs, so it's going to be funny. Uh, this is going to be quite tough because I don't sleep on planes. I'm still scared of turbulences and flying, so it's uh, it's quite heavy. So sometimes I need to lie down even on the airport, not in the lounge. Lo lo so I'm just sleeping down uh, where the duty free is, you know, something. So yeah, basically um, I'm playing this weekend in uh, in here in Spain. I'm flying on uh, Saturday to uh, Amsterdam and the same night in uh, in Switzerland. And then I'm going to have three days off in, in Switzerland. So uh, finally some uh, days to, 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 to relax and uh, not playing music. <laughs> <laughs> what does Umek do in his time off? Uh, Umek, what does Umek a time off? Probably he's on email with, uh, with uh, my man management. You know, it's like with this music business, man, believe me, never stops. You know, like, you, wake, you wake up in the morning, it starts, and you finish when you close the computer before we go to bed. So it's nonstop. But when I have free time, uh, I love to do some snowboarding or uh, uh, I love to go to gym. Maybe it doesn't seem so, but I do. <laughs> um, so yeah, 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 trying to enjoy every free moment uh, as much as I can. And so you make tell us, you've obviously got two very exciting things that you've been working on for some time now, both your radio show and your record label, um, getting great reviews in, in every paper that writes about them, um, both just on the app. Tell us, what's your secret with the, with the label? Are you obviously signing and, and finding some great music? What, what's the secret, man? Um, it's very simple. You open a SoundCloud account and tell the people to send the music over there. It's, uh, it's that easy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I check every single thing that I get on SoundCloud. We have some rules, of course, you need to uh, consider and, 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 and do it like we want it. And if you do it like that, I will listen to every single track. And uh, if I like it, I'm going to sign it. It's very simple. Of course, we have some known artists on the label, but uh, my reason why I started label is to promote as well unknown artists, especially from Eastern Europe. Uh, because it's hard for those artists. They're really good, really amazing DJs, amazing producers, but but nobody really cares. So it's I I kind of feel obligated to point them out, you know. So yeah, I I've, I find them, try to sign them, and um, on the beginning when the label was not that big, I was thinking, okay, maybe because of the release on my label, they're gonna find some bigger label, you know, or and I would be very happy, you know, that. So, but right now a lot of people are actually happy with us and they're staying, you know, with us. So yeah. It, times changing, so times are changing. So yeah, it's doing well. Label is doing great. We have a lot of new releases coming out. 
Uh, and then the radio show is one year old right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's all good, all good. I think so. Any tips? We, we launch our radio show next week, Lucky Life Radio. So, any tips from you, Mick, about how to run a good radio show? Uh, you know what? I still have problem talking on the radio, so it's uh, very short. I announce uh, the artist, and uh, and that's it. Yeah, well, <laughs> Let the music speak for itself. I think that's what people want from radio, isn't it? Exactly. I think it's the music that is count. Well, listen, let's uh, wrap up because you've got to get onto the deck soon. So last two questions for you, you make. Uh, we're down in Ibiza. You obviously visit here quite a lot as an artist. Uh, what would you say is your favorite thing about Ibiza? Everybody's here for partying, you know, so it must be the clubs. You know, the clubs probably are one of the, I mean, the most beautiful clubs in the world are here. And the crowd is amazing because it's actually from all, all around the world. And they're here for one purpose, to have a great time and to, to party. And this is the best thing about Ibiza. <laughs> and we're on Lucky Live TV, so you make, what do you reckon is the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you? The luckiest thing is that you're able to enjoy your job. I'm a DJ and I'm very grateful that I can do what I do. So you're living your lucky life, yeah? It's very lucky life. <laughs> All right, guys, so more people leaving. You should be staying. <laughs> Great stuff, guys. Well, that's uh, you, make down here at Sands here in Play It in Boston. Thanks very much for having us, mate. Cheers, bro. Bye.